hello hello everybody welcome back to flower season so in today's video i want to give you guys an update on the bird cage that we recycled as a planter so it's been a few weeks now and you can barely see the cage it and the, <laughs> the little bees are just hiding under all the petunias I think it turned out super, super nice. And it's just the beginning of the summer. So in a few months, I think this is going to be gorgeous. It might get a little bit out of hand. So I'll be pruning a little bit here and there. But I think everything has turned out so nicely. Uh, you can see the petunias have a whole bunch of flowers now. When we planted this, none of the, none of the things had flowers. And now we just have an explosion of beautiful pink and silver flowers. I think it's just such an amazing display here for the beginning of the garden. As soon as you walk in through the gate, you can see this beautiful planter. And I just think it's so gorgeous and it's giant as well. The... Um, I really love these petunias. They're the tidal wave uh, petunias that I started from seed and they have gone nuts. Um, I, I've planted these ones in the past and at first you can see a lot of the leaves like you can see right now. But at the end of the season, they're just covered in flowers. And I haven't fertilized yet. I'll be using the Proven Winners Water Soluble Fertilizer to fertilize them. I haven't given them fertilizer not even once yet and they have this amazing blooming already so once I start giving them weekly uh, water soluble fertilizer I think they're, they'll, they will do amazing. The um, Suncredible sunflowers are also going crazy. They have produced more blooms than they did last year and they got ginormous <laughs> and i'm sure they'll they will get a little bit bigger um you know they, they will get more bigger so i'm just really happy with the with the show that i'm getting from these plants and the only thing i might change uh if i do this next year is that i will not plant um, as many plants on the raised bed that I have on the other side because now we don't have enough walking space in between uh, the the planter and the raised bed so I will be leaving a little bit more space um, or plant something that doesn't get so massive but I think it just looks amazing uh, Carlos thought that it would have been better if we hadn't planted the sunflowers on in the middle but i think it looks really pretty it depends on who you are and you like it next year we're probably not gonna add a centerpiece on this one we might just leave like a petunia show so it turns out like a little like a little round ball but i love it i really like these sunflowers i think it gave the uh this vegetable garden area and pato patio patio <laughs> area i really nice pop of color and if you're in a budget go ahead and start petunias from seed you can do it in the winter sowing method if you don't have space inside your house to do it or if you don't have a grow light you can go ahead and do it in the winter sowing method and you'll get beautiful, beautiful, amazing petunias. These are the tidal way petunias. Don't forget that because the other petunias that I have tried in the past from seed, they haven't done well. Only the tidal wave petunias have been a very, very successful petunia in my garden from seed. They are almost almost not 100 percent as good as the uh super tunias from proven winners so i would say if you're in a budget and you don't want to buy 30 20 plants from proven winners which is more expensive because they're five dollars per plant 
I think give these tidal away petunias a try. They're five dollars per seed packet. The seed packet only has 10 seeds, but 10 plants go a long way. If you want to do like a um a little drift of petunias, 10 plants are good. <laughs> and I had 100 percent success uh rate on my seed packages. So and I probably only I think I only bought five seed packages and I have all of these petunias I have them in different areas of the garden I have them in the front yard and in the circle flower bed at the end of my garden and on this planter and I only spent $25 in it I have massive massive shows I'll show you you guys those areas later on because they're still kind of small right now but I think I think if you're on a budget these petunias are something that you need to uh, get. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye-bye. See you till next time. <laughs>